Hello everybody, today is the final day that we are talking about moral uh, and what is moral and what is immoral, the ethics of morality. And you know, I want us to, us to examine uh, the way this works in the life of in the book of Israel, I mean the book of Daniel. Uh, we see the example of Daniel, how he stood up for righteousness, for what is right. And that is what he did there, is what we call moral courage. He stood for what is morally right, even though it might not be popular. The three ch children of Jews, uh, the, those three men that were put in fire, they also stood for what is right, even though they knew it might cost them their own life, it might cost them, you know, a lot. And they didn't compromise. So, moral, moral righteousness, or in what is moral, is to make sure that you are living by the principles and by the in accordance with your conscience, first of all, and in accordance with the truth that is revealed to you. You are not going against what you know to be right. You are not going against what your heart is telling you to do. And you are not, your, your, your actions must be dictated by what is, what is coming from inside. What your heart is telling you, what, is coming, what you know is right, rather than from the conditions and circumstances from outside. If you are looking at events from outside and you are making, and you are using that as your parameter, to decide your, what, what your uh, action should be, that is what is wrong. The, the events influencing you or putting pressure on you or you know making you to compromise should not dictate your actions. Your actions must be dictated by the values, by the invisible values that you know are true to your conscience, are true to your beliefs, are true to the, to the, to the standards that you have set for yourself or that God has set for you. And for us to be moral, more, our morality must not be defined by something lower. Uh, that is, our morality cannot be defined by you yourself because then you can change the rules. Your our morality must not be decided by the people around you because they might not be good in all in all sphere of life. They, they, nobody is perfect. So morality is something that must be defined by a higher being, something that is or someone that is higher than the level that we are right now. Someone that is much more higher, and someone that has proved to uh, has proven the fact that he could abide by those morals and by those standards and by those principles. So that's why when we're talking about what is moral and what is immoral, it is always good to compare and to to, to the standard of God and to use God's standard as our our, our benchmark, as our you know, benchmark, as the thing that as our bedrock, the thing that we we stand on as our foundation. That is what we use to say, this is the standard, this is what God says, this is what the Word of God says, and I abide, I, and I abide by it. So to live according to the Word of God, to live according to your conscience, is a proof that you are walking in morality, in, you are acting morally. And, but if to live against your conscience, to live against the standard of the Word of God and the values and the principles that you know is to be immoral. And I hope that this week, this was this week I've uh, contributed to you to be a better person and to act morally in uh, different situations of your life on a daily basis.